Hello and welcome to this session on inventory for SAP Business One. The objective of this session is to showcase some of the key features and functionality within the inventory area of the Business One product, including stock handling, item master data, batches and serial numbers, bin locations, reporting, stock transfers and prices. Within the latest release of the solution, enhancements have been introduced to more easily manage stock by units and measure, pricing and related components. The item master records within SAP Business One are one element of the key master data for the solution. They can be used in all sales and purchasing related transactions and although they have many fields that can be used to hold relevant information, they are also easily tailored to business requirements. This is achieved through the configuration of related tables and also by the addition of user-defined fields where required. More and more businesses handle goods that need to be managed by batches or by serial numbers and SAP Business One provides all of the tools to manage this. By selection of the drop-down in the Manage Item By field, it is possible to select either serial numbers or batches. Please note this is optional. It is always possible to manage the stock without serial or batch number details being recorded. Once selected, more fields appear that relate to how either batches or serial numbers can be easily managed within the Business One transactions. Once the item has been set up to manage serial numbers or batches, related transactions where this needs to apply will reflect the detailed batch or serial number details. As you can see in this example, a delivery document being processed needs to have the details for serial numbers for the related transactions to be entered. By simply selecting the required serial number for the transaction, this can be easily added within the delivery document. If any items are to be managed by a detailed location within a warehouse, for example a specific shelf or rack within a warehouse, the bin location functionality can be utilised. This enables the simple management of stock where physical locations can be defined and they are actively referenced in all related stock transactions. By simply ticking a box within the warehouse master record, we can very easily enable bin locations. In order to then start processing transactions, we need, then need to navigate our way back to the inventory menu and to click into inventory transactions. Here we have an example, an incoming goods receipt is being created. The items being received will need to have bin location details recorded against them. Additionally, we can see within the item record itself, details will also be required for serial numbers that relate to the physical goods being received. A prompt will appear to allow entry of the required serial number details. This is easily typed in and added to the transaction. As the item being received will be stored in a bin location, another prompt appears asking for the details of the bin location to be selected. This is very easily done from the available list of bin locations, then the transaction details are updated. Once all selected, we can update the transaction and then complete the goods receipt. As with other areas of SAP Business One, for inventory there are a whole host of out-of-the-box reports available. In this example, we can see a bin location content list, which details all of the available bin locations in the system. We can see items and quantities within these locations. We can also drill into bin location master records to see further details of the actual bin location itself. For each bin location, we can drill in to see serial numbers and stock levels within them. By drilling into the bin location master data and drilling into the bin location content, we can see further details of the maximum quantities and other restrictions that could be applied to goods stored in that location.
In another example, by navigating through the Inventory Reports section, we can launch another example report. This is the Inventory in Warehouse report. Here we can list all of the stock by location within multiple or single warehouses. The available criteria allows for a choice of supplier, item code or even location to be chosen for the report to be run. This versatile report will not only list the information of stock levels but also indication of what is committed against orders, what is on order and therefore what stock levels are available at present. If we do not want to have a detailed report, we can have a summary level report which will just list a quantity per item per location. Under Inventory Reports, we can see multiple reports are available to be generated. This includes inventory audit, valuation reports or even batch and serial number related reporting. As with many other reports, the Inventory Audit report allows selection by date range, through the date picking tool, or by item code, or by warehouse location. And additionally, we have further selection criteria for the contents to be displayed. In this case, it is being grouped by the warehouse code. Due to the volume of transactions, this report can take a little while to run, but as we have this example running on the SAP HANA database, the report is generated very quickly, even with a large volume of transactions. The report is summarised by item number, which can then be expanded based on the warehouse location, where we can then see all of the individual transactions themselves. We can even drill into the transaction documents by using the orange arrows if required. With any business holding stock in multiple warehouses, there will always be a need to transfer stock between locations. SAP Business One provides the ability to do this with an inventory transfer. The inventory transfer transaction simply requires details to be recorded for the originating warehouse, the destination warehouse, the item code and also quantity details. By selecting destination warehouse either by code or from a drop down list it is very easy to put together a transaction. The item code is entered along with a quantity And then we just simply need to add the document. As this is an item managed with serial numbers, a serial number needs to be selected for the transfer to take place. Again, this is just simply selected and then updated and the document is then ready to post. As with all transactions, this will be limited by the authorizations of the user processing the transaction. For all stock, items that are being bought and sold, there is always a need to record related pricing information. This could be where details of a retail price are held, or it could be where many different prices are held for specific customers. All of these can be handled by SAP Business One. This can be achieved by accessing price list directly, making changes to the price by item, or by drilling into the item master record and updating the price field against the price list selected. For each of the price lists available, in this example, the regular sales price, it is possible to drill in and make changes to the items within the list. Here we can see the price is based on a base price with a factor relating to a markup, giving a new price for the price list. In addition, special prices can also be recorded within SAP Business One. This is achieved by selecting per item or by customer and then associating specific pricing for them. In this example here we are selecting by an item code and then double clicking on the row we can launch a periodic discount table. This allows us to discount pricing for a defined time period. When applying a discount or a manual price 
the automatic update checkbox can be checked to allow for the pricing to revert once a date specific pricing has expired. Further discounting by quantity breaks can also be achieved by drilling through on the row. In this example here we have multiple levels applied to the item code. For example, where more than 100 are purchased there is a discount of 50%. If more than 500 are purchased there is a discount of 55%. And if more than 100,000 are purchased, there will be an additional discount taking it up to 60%. Once updated, the special pricing will come into effect within the chosen date range. We can then close the open windows. This concludes the session on SAP Business One Inventory. Many thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful.